Welcome, welcome. Well, it's October, the only month I can walk out in public dressed like this. And for today's video, we're gonna check out Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Halloween 3 Season of the Witch is a 1982 American science fiction horror film and the third installment in the Halloween film franchise. It is the first film to be written and directed by Tommy Lee Wallace and John Carpenter and Deborah Hill return as producers. And believe it or not, this is the only film that does not feature the series and antagonist Michael Myers. Now you may be wondering why? Well that's because Halloween was originally intended to be an anthology series similar to The Twilight Zone, where in every movie something scary happens in Halloween. However, the success of the first Halloween got producers wanting Michael Myers to come back for more, and so he did in Halloween 2, and that film was supposed to be his last one as he got Kentucky fried to death. And so both John Carpenter and Deborah Hill got their chance to do the anthology. And as you can tell, it did not work as Michael Myers is synonymous with the Halloween series. But is it as bad as everyone says? Well, let's find out. So without further ado, let's check it out. So the film begins on October 23rd in 1982 in Northern California. And we see a dude named Harry Grimsbridge as he is pursued by mysterious men in suits and with a killer soundtrack. And again, John Carpenter made the soundtrack in this one. Anyways, here's another song. Oh, and get used to that, because you're going to hear that a lot in this film. British authorities still baffled and without any substantial clues nine months after the theft. The Blue Stone was one of 19, believed to represent the 19-year cycle of the moon. It weighs more than five tons, making its disappearance a mystery indeed. A huge steaming ball of foreshadowing. Anyways, Harry here gets lucky when a car crashes on one of the suited men. Then Harry collapses at the shop of Walter Jones, and Harry is taken to a hospital and is placed in the care of Dr. Daniel Chalice, played by Tom Atkins, an alcoholic doctor who has a strained relationship with his ex-wife and two children. Don't believe me? Check it out. One for you, one for you. What's the matter? Don't you like them? Mom already got us math. You ungrateful sons of bitches. And all I can hear is criticize, criticize, criticize. Oh, and by the way, his ex-wife is played by Nancy Loomis, a.k.a. Annie from the first Halloween film. It's four days to Halloween. Turn that down. Anyways, time for some character development. I think I should have married you, Agnes. <laughs> that one didn't age quite so well. Later that night, Harry is murdered by another suited man. Oh, and look what this motherfucker does next. Then we meet Harry's daughter Ellie, played by Stacy Nielkin, as she identifies her father's body in his hospital room and is told the case is under investigation. And hell, even Daniel's confused on what the hell happened here. It's taking a while. The guy was just a pile of ashes. I know the sheriff thinks he was on drugs. That doesn't make any sense. I've seen lots of people on drugs. A man was in complete control. He looked like a businessman. Apparently he has never heard of Wall Street. Anyways, here's a cameo, sort of. Followed by the big giveaway at nine. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Come on, come on, come on. What's the matter? Don't you have any Halloween spirit? No. 
What an asshole! Then Ellie meets with Daniel to talk about the suspicious events surrounding Harry's death, and they decide to investigate. They start by visiting Harry's closed down toy store where Ellie had researched her father's appointment book and discovers that he had run into trouble after October 20th when he picked up more Halloween masks in the small town of Santa Mira, California. And so they travel to Santa Mira, the hometown of the Silver Shamrocks Novelties Factory, which made the Halloween masks. Anyways, as they check into a motel, Daniel learns that Harry had stayed here in the past. This place is a zoo. I saw Cochran, his car anyway. And your old man stayed here on the 20th. I was right. We'll go directly to the factory. We'll Whoa, find out hold exactly on. Slow down. Slow down. It's getting late. I could use a drink. See, Daniel has priorities here. And we get some chemistry between these two characters. What I mean is, if you'd uh, feel more comfortable... Uh, I can sleep in the car. Where do you want to sleep, Dr. Chalice? That's a dumb question, Miss Grimpage. Nice. 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 Anyways, after that shit, Daniel meets a homeless pyromaniac. Watch out. Seen the TV cameras yet? He, he's watching you, friend. I guarantee you that. I'm gonna get me about a case and a half of Molotov cocktails. Burn that son of a bitch right now. That is pretty sus. And later that night, that dude gets a surprise visit. Oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. You, you know that. You know that. I'm kidding. <laughs> Finish him. Fatality. And speaking of surprises, look what Ellie has for Daniel. A few moments later. I don't believe this commercial. Wait, wait, wait. How old are you? Hey, yo! That's fucking sus. Meanwhile, there's a character named Marge Gutman, another motel customer, who discovers a microchip on the back of the medallion of one of the masks. <laughs> Damn! Shortly after that debacle, men in lab coats take Maggie's body away in a silver shamrock van, and Daniel overhears the factory technicians describing a misfire to the factory owner, Connell Cochran, played by Daniel O'Herlihy. It's all over, my friends, just a small accident. The lady's going to get the very best possible treatment, I promise you that. Where are they taking her? They're taking her to the factory. She we have the most marvelous facility there for emergency treatment. That is pretty sus. The next day, Daniel and Ellie tour the factory where Ellie finds her father's car guarded by more men in suits, who stop her from getting closer to it. They attempt to call the authorities as they flee, but Daniel cannot reach anyone outside of town by phone. And shit hits the fan when Ellie is kidnapped and taken to the factory. Oh, and Daniel tries to interrogate this old lady. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh my god, she's a fucking android. And it turns out she's not the only one around. Finish him! Fatality. Anyways, Daniel gets captured by more androids in suits, and Cochran takes Daniel to the final processing control room and reveals his plan. It turns out the microchip on each mask contains a fragment of Stonehenge that he stole. Upon viewing the big giveaway commercial, the microchips on the masks activate, killing the wearer. Don't believe me? Check it out. Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. 
And after that shit, Cochrane locks Daniel in a room and explains his plan to take Halloween back to its original roots. The Festival of Samhain. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red with the blood of animals and children. Witchcraft. To us, it was a way of controlling our environment. Well, we're fucked. And after that villain monologue, Cochran leaves Daniel with a mask on and with the commercial so he can sit back and watch the show. Luckily, Daniel escapes and rescues Ellie. He sneaks into the control room and activates the commercial on the screen and pours a box of medallions from a ceiling rafter, killing everyone inside. And check out Cochran's reaction. Well, that's kind of surprising. And the Stonehenge Remnant kills Cochrane, and he doesn't give a shit. And after he gets killed, a massive fire destroys the factory, and as they flee, this happens. Yup, Ellie is an android. Now the thing is, was she always an android? Or was she replaced when she got kidnapped? Who knows? Seriously, nobody knows. Well, Daniel, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is, your new girlfriend is dead. On the bright side, you can use her hand to do the five-finger knuckle shuffle every night. Anyways, he flees on foot to Walter's shop and tries to contact the television networks, attempting to stop the commercial broadcast. There's no more time. You've got to... S Please, stop it. Stop it now. Turn it off. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! And that was Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. The film surprisingly did get its money back. Unfortunately, it was panned by both critics and fans, as they were upset that Michael Myers did not return in this film. And also, they were confused as they did not know the series was originally gonna be an anthology. I don't blame them, having Michael show up in the second one did not help. And sadly, the film has been deemed as one of the worst, and unsurprisingly, after the film's negative reception, Michael Myers was was brought back in Halloween 4. Fortunately enough, the film has received positive reviews over the years, and it received a cult following. And hell, it's even referenced in the other Halloween films. For instance, in Halloween Kills, a trio of trick-or-treaters are wearing the silver shamrock masks. So with all that out of the way, now what do I think of the movie? It's a pretty good movie. Don't get me wrong, it's not 100% perfect, as it has some plot holes, and certain parts don't make a whole lot of sense, but it is enjoyable and how from a certain point of view the film is seen as a criticism on consumerism especially how these Halloween masks were designed to kill people also I have to give a shout out to Connell Cochran as he is a very interesting villain he comes off as a nice dude but you can tell he has something sinister planned and I also liked how his plan involves going back to Halloween's original roots also the film is very creative as it combines both science and witchcraft and to be honest, this film is a hell of a lot better than the later Halloween sequels. So I would say go check this one out, as it's very underrated. And trust me, you'll enjoy this one during Halloween. So I give this movie three and a half silver shamrock masks. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay safe out there, and happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. in great combination. <laughs> oh, it's funny, because it's true.